I knew this day would come. When I started the Heat Seeker, I knew eventually I was going to piss somebody off. And I had a few good ideas on who might try to, you know, retaliate or try to say something that would strike a nerve. I'm not in it to piss people off. I'm just in it because it's fun, you know. I can say that much. I don't have to put on my gimmick. I don't have to wear face paint. I don't have to, I don't have to try to impress anybody. You know, I don't need I don't need to make a little poster to put on my wall. You know, everybody knows I'm sitting in my kitchen table and I can prove it because, I mean, go back and watch my other episodes. All I'm going to say is I can't believe that someone would get so upset about my show that they would decide to go ahead and start their own show. You know, not very many people in Oklahoma have a blog, a vlog, you know, video log, anything. You know, not very many people try to communicate with their t fans. Not many people try to entertain, you know, people around the world like me. Right now, you know what I do? When I get bored, I break out a video camera and I try to film something that could either amuse you, make you laugh, Hell, one of these days I might even put something on here that could make you cry. Doesn't really matter what I do. I'm doing this for me, and I'm doing this for my friends. I'm doing this for commercial time, promo time. I'm doing this to get camera time. I can only, you know, I'm an independent professional wrestler. I wrestle one weekend a month, two weekends a month. If I'm a lucky, three, four weekends a month. Six, seven days a week I spend at my house just waiting for another wrestling event. They're not always just going to be here, you know. I'm not getting paid that much to wrestle, and I'm definitely not making a living off wrestling. i got to kill time somehow. Now, the fact that somebody else wants to go ahead and, you know, make their own show, you know, and try to go ahead and get some camera time, I think it's great. I think that trying to interact with your fans, trying to interact with the people that are involved in this business, trying to get yourself out there, put yourself on the map. The more videos you have on YouTube, Facebook, hell, if anybody still has a MySpace, if you try to get on there and you try to promote yourself so that people can see who you are and what you do, what you're all about, that's just great. Real Talk with Rudy Edwards. with a sharpie written poster standing behind him as he sits in his gear in his best friend's mother's living room as his best friend sits behind the camera and turns up the stereo turns down the stereo turns up the stereo turns down the stereo and whoever's filming has their finger over the damn speaker on the camera so that you can't even hear what he's saying I'll admit my first few videos were a little scratchy. And I'll give you credit, Eddie. This is your first video. But you're going to have to step it up, son. If you keep it up, I'm proud of you. You and I started together. I'm pretty sure in Eddie's first match, I was standing in there critiquing it. I was behind the curtain watching his match. I can tell you one thing about his first day of training. He was with me at 14 years old. We trained together. Hell, we, we what four years together, Eddie. You know, that's a long time. You know, I considered Rudy Edwards a friend at one point in time. But if you're gonna start stirring shit and you're gonna bring some heat, if you're gonna start seeking some heat. You'll get it. If that's what you want, you can have it. Now tell me. And all you know, if if that's not what the case is, we can straighten it out now. But uh, bringing up John Stone's one thing, bringing up me's another. You know, I've heard John say what he said he would do to you if he saw you in person. I won't mention it now; it doesn't matter. But you don't want to fuck with me. I'll get it booked, Eddie.
Eddie Pettigrew, Rudy Edwards, the queer from SWCW, who the only reason he got a push was because he was willing to wear a pink fucking thong and hump old men in public. Why don't you try to get a push because of your talent? Hell, why don't you try to get booked because of your talent? Quit being a crybaby bitch and quit begging the promoters to put you on their card. Go back to basics. Learn how to wrestle. Not wrestle, like you say. Learn how to wrestle. Become a professional. Do the job. Don't bitch every step of the way. Don't say, hey, it's my title. I want it fair and square. I might not come back with it. How are you going to prove it doesn't belong to me? Titles are earned. They're not given. They're not stolen. Wise up, Eddie. Man up, Eddie. Take it seriously, Eddie. Skits, comedy's okay. Drawn heat's okay. But what you're doing, it just sucks. Put some work into it. Put a little bit of effort into it. Put some production into it. Do it right. Take pride in what you do. Because what you have right now isn't worth the time. People remember the heat seeker because it's good. Now if you're going to do something and you're going to make it right, people might remember it one day. But now all you're doing is wasting space on the internet. Just like you wasted space in my locker room. <laughs>